Shalom. First and foremost, before we dive to this lesson, give it no honor, no glory, no infinite praise due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akakadash, the Bible's great minister and the apostle for teacher who will. Peace, salutation to the Lord for the that scattered abroad, like the other nations. Shalom, Shalom. And Shalom to the Sir Akim that's out there making a body a living sacrifice by going out there on the highways, byways, and hedges, by proclaiming the truth, teaching the true gospel of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai. And uh, Shalom to the Sir Akim that's out there representing husbands, being a pillar of rescue, doing so to those that may be. Shalom, Shalom. Yahweh, as it being the Heavenly Father, was the word ignorantly calls God, which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, he exists. By Hashem, meaning the name of Yahweh Shai, being the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, was the word ignorantly called Jesus the Christ, which his name means in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, he is the deliverer, okay? And the Rakakadash being the Holy Spirit, okay? So today's lesson is basically entitled. The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. And the reason being for this lesson because it's a video, video of General Yohanna, uh stating that he sits in Peter's seat. Okay, he he's in the lead, uh, position of Peter. Okay, which Peter was the head apostle that Yahweh Shah has set up. Okay, so that is going to show you the mindset that he has. He wants to have that that leadership role over all Israel, okay? But the thing is that's that's a that's a form of pride because if you think about it, you know, we, we should just we, we we you see the apostles and elders of GMS don't say that they are in Peter's seat. They call themselves apostles, okay? So um that is going to show you the level of pride that he has, okay? He's literally saying that he sits in the position of Peter, okay, which Peter, if you can receive it, is King David, okay, because once again, King David, he was the head of Israel, okay, the king of Israel, and he came back as Peter as well, and he was made the head apostle, okay, but at the same time, you know, you got guys nowadays that's going to swerve and down, they this person is that in these days, when you just simply just need to prophesy and teach, Okay, that's what the Apostle Elder's doing. General Johanna haven't been on the highways and byways in, I don't know, how long, okay? But you want to say that you are the are in uh, Peter's seat, okay? And you also going to receive it. Moses also was King David, okay? All right, if you can receive it, okay? So it kind of makes sense for, you know, why brothers, or why the scriptures say the scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat if you receive this King David, okay? And that's a lesson within itself, but the whole point is, okay, is that these the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees like to sit in a leadership position, you know, to have dominance and control over all Israel, you know, but at the same time, that's pride, man. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to play a video. Now here's a tough question for me, man. <laughs> I never heard you say this, but if, if you did, I know there's a good explanation for it and a good reasoning for it. Right. And um, people, some Israelites get mad at the fact that you said it, but the dudes that's getting mad, I look at them and be like, "Yo, y'all, y'all, let's get out of here. Y'all, y'all do all kind of wicked and crazy shit." Yeah. So but but what I'm saying is. They accuse you of saying that you are second coming to Christ. Mm -hmm. And um, when it comes to the hierarchy, God, Jesus, General Yohanna. Right. Talk to us about that. Okay, first of all, I never said that. However, however, in from the biblical point of view, that's absolutely true. Mm. Okay. That's an absolute, I've never said it. Till, till, till you bring it brought it up to me now right. Right. okay but okay this much is clear there is the god in heaven and there is christ underneath him and underneath christ was peter and christ's church so to speak word church which was the body of christ okay now the body of christ was carried on all the way through which you know the history of harlem 
all the way through Harlem, all the way until One West started in 69. You can go all the way back, you can go to the Schomburg and go all the way into the history of, of the Hebrew Israelites from the 1900s, before the 1900s. You can go into our history all the way back into Florida, into all the people that was before us. And here we hit 1969, and that's when the head set up One West. One West carried on, and when I took over One West, I took over that seat. So yes, Biblically, I sit in that seat that Peter sat in before. Now that's a, you know, that's a little much for a lot of people's blood. Mm. But I never talk about it or bring it up because we got such a bigger fish to fry than who's sitting in Peter's seat. Right. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in Peter's seat if God's people are not free. You understand? Mm. So, but brothers assert that authority, and I have to endorse it. Because there is somebody sitting in Peter's seat. There is somebody. Otherwise, Christ's church is gone. So somebody's sitting in Peter's seat. And guess what? The person that's sitting in Peter's seat is the very same person that would be carrying on the truth as we received it. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I'm carrying that truth on the way we received it. ISUBK since 69, all the protocols that we go back to this is biblical prophecy so the answer to answer it technically is yes and i'm sorry it, it hurts people's egos i'm sorry it hurts their feelings you know what i mean but like i said i never brought it up until you mentioned it right now now heard that he clearly just said it that hey, he sits in the position of peter you know so he's calling himself you know basically the head apostle of israel you know which that's wicked as hell, you know, that's prideful as hell, okay? You're supposed to just simply be teaching the truth, proclaiming the gospel, okay? Not trying to fight over who's in what position, you know? The Lord never set us up to even debate over things like that, okay? So that's why, once again, once again, you see what kind of mindset, what kind of um per level of pride he is he has okay once again he haven't been on highways and byways and we don't know how long okay but you want to claim to be in the seat of peter okay you want to call yourself the head of the church okay which ultimately you have a shine being on being the head of the church but he set up peter to be the head of the church as well because he set his rock upon him Okay, let's get that. Okay. Build upon this rock. Let's read it. Let's read this. And it says, And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Okay. Uh, read this in the NLT. Um, this is now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock. Okay, because that's what Peter's name means. Let's go to the blue letter. All right, blue letter Bible. And uh, let's get uh, Matthew 16 and 18. Okay, let's go to Peter. I mean, uh, Peter it means rock or stone, okay? So, Peter being the head apostle is that rock, okay? And Yahweh Shah said he will build upon that because Peter is the head apostle, okay? So, that's why, once again, you want to call yourself Peter, you know? You got you got you got some shoes to fill, man. Okay, because Peter's role within the ministry is very important, man. Okay? He's the head apostle. Okay? That Yahweh Shah has set up. So if you want to claim to be that, you got a lot of explaining to do, man. Why you ain't on how it's about with his teacher when Yahweh Shah clearly told Peter, go feed my sheep. Meaning, go teach them this word, man. Okay? All right? So how are you the head apostle? You not eating on the highways and byways and hedges, man. Lord said, be instant in season and out of season. 
You haven't been out there in a minute, man. You got your look. You got your man going out there, okay. But once again, we understand that this is the scriptures speak about it, okay? About about man's pride, okay? Bear with me. Just a sec, just a sec. It's lucky, it's lucky. All right, I'm back. So, kind of, once again, getting back to it. The Lord told that the Lord just said to Peter upon, that said, it says that thou art Peter upon this rock. So, Peter's name means rock or stone, meaning he's the head apostle. Okay. And you have a shot, build it upon that. Okay. So, if you can receive it, King David being, being, uh, uh, Peter being King David. Okay. So, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get some other scriptures, okay? Because that is the pride to say that you are in the seat of Moses, and you not even on the highways and byways yourself, okay? That's that's not being humble, man. You you got to be taking the low, okay? That's why you have a shot told us to take the low route, okay? We shouldn't be speaking highly of ourselves anyway, okay? So let's get the book of uh, Matthew twenty three. Okay. And the reason it says this is a uh
it's locky, man. You know, getting interrupted and shit. It's locky. So, get back to it. Uh, this is Matthew 23 and verse 1. And it says, Then spake you out, shout to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore, whatsoever they say, whatsoever they bid, you observe that. Ob that ob it's locky. All therefore, whatsoever they bid, you observe that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. Right, so he is saying that he's the head apostle. He sits in basically Peter's seat, okay? But once again, you see that he is not doing any kind of work like what Peter did, okay? Okay? Because you see that Peter, he was on the highways about his head just pe preaching the truth and gospel, okay? What about you? You not out there, man. Okay, you sit there tucked up in some building, okay, while your men go out and teach, okay. This is uh, verse 4, for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves would not move them one with one of their fingers. But all their works they, they do for to be seen of men, they may broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. And love the uppermost rooms and feasts and chief seats in the synagogue. So, right, you want to be highly estated, you know, wherever you go. Okay, that's why your men speak highly of you instead of highly of you. How was shy? Okay. Because you want to be un uh, right, uh, right uh, underneath you. How was shy? You want to understand something, man. If you want to play that role, okay, you got a lot of responsibility, man. Okay, just like that, just like what, what Peter had, man. Just like King David had, man. You want to be in those positions, man? Hey, you got a lot of, you got some shoes to fill, man. You got to be in the mindset of John, man. Okay, what did he say when Yahushua came upon the scene? He said, I'm not worthy of his, to basically wear his shoes, man. That's the mindset that you got to have. Okay, I'm not worthy to be in Peter's position, man. Okay, I'm not worthy to be in Yahushua's position, man. Because you're taking a low. You just doing your job that Yahushua told you to do. Okay, so verse uh, seven and ingredients in the market is then to be called a man, rabbi, rabbi, because they want to be called masters. Okay, you want to be a master of somebody. Okay, you want to be master of all Israel. You want all Israel to come to you for the answers. Okay. That's, that, 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 that's that's backwards, man. Okay, so verse nine and call no man your father upon the earth for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters for one is your master, even Hamashiach Yavashai. But he is that is greatest among you will be your servant. Okay, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. So you want to think. You want to exalt yourself. You want to exalt your name being the head apostle of the church. But, hey, just know this. You're not, okay? Through the spirit, we see that you're not, man, okay? How your camp is, how your men is, out of order, okay? We give we give you all the benefit of the doubt. You're waking up Israel, okay? But when it comes to the doctrine, because of the things y'all do, the things y'all say, completely off, okay? GMS has the 100% truth, okay? Y'all the ones that said that John the Baptist wasn't in the truth. He fell out the truth, okay? Sleeping with white women is the mark of the beast. Come on, man. Come on, man. Then you got one of your men condoning adultery. Come on now. But you supposed to be the head apostle of Israel. You supposed to be correcting that, man. Supposed to be rebuking that, okay? So... Verse 13, but woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and pray for a pretense to make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. So, hey, you want to be in that position, seat of uh, Apostle Peter, you know, and you not behaving, and hey, you're going to receive that greater damnation. Okay, because Peter did his part. He did his lot. Okay, he fulfilled his lot. Okay, what about you? Are you on the highways, byways, and heads proclaiming the truth? No. 
okay? Um, let's sit on that. Now let's get the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, and verse 18. Okay, the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, and verse 18. And the reason it says, uh, Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better is it to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. So, right, pride go for destruction, man. You know, you want to act in the matter that you are this and this and that. But in reactionality, you're not that, man. You're not the head apostle of all Israel, man. Okay? You may be the head apostle for your man over there. You know, you might be the, 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 the apostle Peter to them. You know, but to us, we know that you're not, man. Okay? We know that you're not the head apostle of uh, Israel, man. All right? Because you see the, the spirit that the uh, apostles and elders are in, man. Okay? They in a humble spirit, man. You don't see them calling themselves in the uh, second command of Yahweh Shah, man. You don't hear none of that. They just simply teaching the word being humbly, man. Humble, man. Okay, doing everything in decency and order, man. Okay, so get Proverbs twenty nine, Proverbs twenty nine and verse eleven. Reason it says a fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. Right. So a fool utter all his mind. You just came out your ass with that one. I, I somebody had to fulfill that lot. So I'm going to say it. This might get other people. Uh, this might get us under somebody's pants. I'm not Apostle Peter. Or basically, I'm in the seat of Peter. Okay? We got a lot of fish to fry. Like, bro, you going completely off with your pride, man. That's why the scriptures say a fool utters all his mind. You just saying what you feel like you are, man. Okay? But in actuality, you're a fool according to the scriptures if you think you are in that position. Okay? When you have y'all said feed his sheep, where are you at feeding the Lord's sheep? Okay. All right. Let's get the book of Titus, chapter 1. Titus, chapter 1, and verse 10. And it says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped. Who subvert whole houses teaching things they which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Okay? You are saying things that you ought not to be saying. Okay? That right there took me by a surprise. I'm like, damn, you gonna say something like that. You are the apostle. You 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 are sitting in Mo Peter's seat. That's why the Lord said they'd like to sit in Moses' seat. Okay? Because if Moses had he 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 was given the um he was basically the leader of Israel. Okay? If you receive it, you King David. Okay? But you want to call yourself Peter. Okay? Peter fulfilled his lot, man. You you, not even bothering to even edify the sheep. Okay? Actually, what you are doing, you are really scattering the sheep by the things you be teaching. Okay? This is verse 12. Uh, what was it? Dude, it's, oh, that was it. Verse 13, and it says, the wit This witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. So when we do these videos, man, it's honestly to rebuke you out of love, man. Okay? And hopefully you can receive it. Okay? But we, 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 we want Israel to repent, but if you don't repent, then you just... Going to lead yourself to be destroyed. Okay? So that's it on that. Give one more precept. Let's sign off. Second Peter 3, verse 1. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, and content. Fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, for such turn away. So once again, you know, you have, you think you are high-minded, okay? 
you're you're boasting, being proud, and saying that you sitting in Peter's seat, but in actuality, hey man, you you got to be teaching the truth, man. Okay, we not down here to debate uh what position we in, man. We don't know who we are through the spirit. Only your how white, how shy knows that. Okay, but to say that you this person and then come to find out you just you ain't nobody, then they that's on you. Because you spoke proudly, spoke highly of yourself. Okay? That's why the scriptures say, he that has on himself shall be abased. Okay? So, kind that being this lesson, Lord, when well, it's edifying to those that make it watch, giving on honor, no glory, no praise is due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakadash. So, lock you for the interruptions. But once again, hey, call on Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, for, this, for giving the spirit, giving the breath of life. To basically teach this word. Okay. Till next time, till next video. Shalom. 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 Shalom.